everyone in this video let's discuss some of the challenges teams face while implementing agile i will pick top 5 challenges from my experience and viewpoint so let's get started but before that there is an announcement that i have launched a detailed and comprehensive course on jira if you want to grow your skills quickly and with minimum efforts then i suggest you to visit the website www.managementbliss the link is there in the description i have tried to create this course from the perspective of different roles performed in the organizations and with real industry experiences okay coming back to the topic the first challenge is cultural resistance This is not one of the biggest challenge but I feel this is the monster challenge in implementing agile. Every organization has its unique operational processes and practices which have been established by years of experience, trial, traditions etc. These established methods become deeply ingrained forming a company's cultural backbone. Introducing agile into such an environment is a paradigm shift. Agile at its core emphasizes collaboration, adaptability and continuous progression. For many years, the managers who have been accustomed to rigorous methods might find this agile go with the style approach difficult to accept. Its flexibility might be perceived as lack of structure. Similarly employees having witnessed various organizational trends throughout their tenure might think agile as just another trend which will pass with time such skepticism and resistance present hurdles in implementing agile practices within an organization to successfully navigate these challenges transparent communication is essential sharing success stories where agile implementation has been a really positive approach and the outcomes are good can inspire people and gain confidence in them in some situations bringing in external coaches might help as well the second one is lack of training when a company decides to implement agile it's not just about changing the way of working or changing the processes but it's about understanding the underlying values and principles that are behind these processes however sometimes in order to implement a modern approach quickly teams might dive into agile without properly equipping themselves with knowledge and understanding Let's say a team has been working in waterfall from past 7 years and suddenly there is a pressure to implement agile there is a rush to implement just the processes and no one actually understands that are they really getting benefited from them or not without appropriate training teams can misinterpret agile's principles leading to practices that only looks like that the team is following agile but actually it is not for example they might hold daily stand up meetings but these meetings can become underproductive or even counterproductive without knowing its real purpose also there's a risk of adopting a selective approach picking only the practices which they like or find easy while ignoring others that might be challenging or unfamiliar this selective adoption can also dilute the effectiveness of agile methodology this lack of proper training can also cause friction within the team members sometimes can become frustrated due to unclear roles misaligned objectives or the feeling that they are not doing right over time instead of fostering a collaborative and adaptive environment the misapplication of agile can lead to confusion and inefficiency therefore training helps the teams to use agile correctly and get the best results making work smoother and more teamwork focused 
otherwise they might just lose scaling issues when implementing agile it might do good for smaller teams but organizations feel it difficult to scale it when huge deliveries are concerned for smaller teams they can quickly adapt and communicate because there are fewer people to coordinate with and they can make fast decisions however when you try to apply agile to a larger project or several teams things can become more complicated the number of tasks communications and interactions multiplies you might need something extra like tools or methods to make sure that everyone is on the same page there's a higher risk of misunderstandings missed tasks or overlapping efforts coordination becomes a challenge because there are moving parts for agile to work well on larger scale you might need to adjust the approach like having coordinators to ensure smooth communication and workflow again scaling can be done in agile by additional ways of working like implementing release trains external dependencies for teams to operate in agile mode they need to be flexible quick in decision making and should follow rapid iterations However their efficiency can be significantly affected when they rely on external groups or third parties that do not operate the same way when agile teams work with external groups or third parties that don't follow agile methods the external parties do not understand the importance of all the ceremonies or practices and hence they do not bother about them eventually not giving them priority and the overall production slows down for example let's say you are creating a laboratory application where you need to do continuous integrations with other clinical operations team but that team does not believe in daily stand ups and is not willing to support every day this will slow down the process of creating the lab application as well these dependencies create bottlenecks because the fast paced agile team is often ready to proceed but finds itself waiting for the other party to catch up the problem isn't just about speed but it's also about communication and understanding the agile team with its short focus sprint and iterative approach may have a different way of viewing tasks and priorities compared to the non agile party if the external party doesn't deliver as per the agile team's expectations it might result in the need to redo certain tasks further wasting time and resources this situation emphasizes the importance of aligning methodologies and expectations when different teams collaborate the fifth one is estimation difficulties while working on projects estimation plays a crucial role agile frameworks like scrum revolve around small iterations called sprints and before each sprint the team estimates the amount of work that can be accomplished during that period these estimations determine the work that is committed to a sprint and is crucial for planning tracking progress but new teams can face issues while doing estimations in agile let's say because of lack of historical data teams new to agile often lack past data to guide their estimates without a history of previous sprints or tasks to draw them from determining how long new tasks might take can be just a guesswork not just absence of historical data but evolving understanding of tasks varied team member skills complexities within the tasks and external dependencies can make accurate estimations even more difficult these misestimations can lead to unfinished tasks reduce trust in the process increase stress and even technical depth solution can be regular retrospectives using collaborative estimation techniques like poker planning breaking down complex tasks and referencing past sprints with time 
team can gradually improve their estimation accuracy ensuring more consistent and effective sprint outcomes now these were the five top challenges there can be few more challenges like integration challenges resource constraints and lack of clear documentation but i picked up the top ones from my point of view i hope you like the video do let me know your views in the comments see you in the next section